AVTV is a product of the AV Journalism class produced for the students of Amador Valley High School. The views expressed on the show do not represent the views of AVHS teachers, admin, or PUSD personnel. Good morning, Dons. Today is Wednesday, March 30th, and I'm Nikki. Dons, don't forget, if you guys want to connect with us through email to send us some feedback, or if you have a great idea for a story, please reach out to us at avtv at rockamail.com. Juniors, the SAT is just around the corner. It'll be administered on April 13th. Make sure to keep watching AVTV because as the 13th gets closer, we'll have more information for everyone to keep in mind. And contrasting that news, spring break starts April 2nd and ends April 9th. Make sure to take this week to relax and unwind as the school year is coming to an end. The yearbook is going to be different this year, which is kind of obvious, but hey, that means more involvement from the student body. Yearbook wants pictures of students this year, so if you have pictures you want to send in, you can email your photos to amadoryearbook at gmail.com. Make sure to include the names and grades of you and your friends in the pictures. The 2021 PPIE Run for Education is happening from April 11th through April 18th. Uh, you can register at ppierun.com until April 18th. You also get discounts at local businesses if you're wearing the Run shirt. Uh, you can run, walk, and bike around the world with your friends, family, and entire community. Register now uh, for a weekly drawing which is held every Sunday and the winner is announced every Monday. Dons, have you been bored on the weekends and wanted to go get some boba? Well, with the amount of boba places around, how would you know which one's the best, right? So instead of you guys having to try all of them and, you know, wasting your money on that, we did the work for you. Here's a segment comparing all the boba places in Pleasanton. Enjoy. Welcome to the ultimate boba battle between five shops where we try to find the best boba in Pleasanton. First up, we have the Amador favorite. I tea and it takes first place with the best price for the biggest cup of boba milk tea. In addition, they also have to me the best popcorn chicken around. And hidden inside the Pacific Food Hall is Honey Tea, which is also a fruit tea house and snatches second place with great taste and smaller sized bobas. While I ordered the brown sugar boba milk tea, it came with a generous amount of brown sugar. Third place, we have Happy Lemon. That not only tastes great with soft and chewy boba, but they actually have a deal of buy two get one free going on every Thursday only from 5 to 8 p.m. Fourth place, we have Westy with a similar size as IT but a tad bit more expensive according to their higher quality tea leaves, though their milk tea tasted different from all the other shops. Last place we have Snowflake Desserts that sold boba in the same mall as Honey Tea. While their tea isn't the best, their main selling point is rolled ice cream as their store name and it's incredibly delicious. And that concludes the battle with IT winning first place, Honey Tea the next, Happy Lemon as third place, Westy as the fourth, and Snowflake Desserts as the fifth. And now we're handing it back to the studio. Uh, and now we have a segment about all the massive changes to the campus that you've probably noticed as you've come back to school. Let's check it out. It's been around a year since the last time we were all at school together. Over those months, there have been a bunch of changes to make sure that our return was as amazing as possible. If you've been at school anytime recently, you may have noticed some cool new things about our campus. If not, here's a quick rundown. First and most obvious, we've had the entire campus painted a gray, beige, and purple color. Secondly, we are in the middle of constructing a whole new building on campus, two stories like the Q building. A big thank you to the construction workers who are hard at work building. Next, the entrance gate near the office has been reshaped, and we now have some cool plants, benches, and a zigzag walkway. Finally, all classrooms got a bell slash clock duo installed. This is what the new one sounds like. That's it for today's report on changes to the school. As more things develop, we will make sure to let you know. Thanks for watching and let's go back to the studio. Hey Dons, we just had our first football game last weekend. Here's a quick recap of that. Last Saturday, the Amador Dons were able to host and win their first home football game since the world shut down last year. Parents and invited guests were allowed to attend. 
they were asked to social distance and wear masks at all times. Thanks to a beautiful six touchdowns and three field goals, our varsity boys were able to beat Granada 48-14. to After months of confusion and little training at all, our team was able to band together and secure a long overdue victory. Although the game wasn't as packed as it usually is, it was a nice chance for Dons to get together and show some school spirit. Now we have our first commercial of the day. Hey there, freshmen. The next link lesson is today at 12.20 p.m. To join the lesson, just go to bit.ly slash 3UBGPUY. As we move further into the orange tier, the link leaders are hoping to offer a voluntary link lesson in person for next month. So keep your eyes open for that. Now back to Nicket in the studio. Now we have another commercial. Hi Dons, my name is Megan Sherline. And I'm Monty Sage. And we are the student ambassadors for Amador's Every 15 Minutes program, in which we tell you the dangers of drunk driving. We're one of the only schools to be putting on Every 15 Minutes this year, and it's because we believe so strongly in that message. Because it's COVID, the program this year had to be entirely virtual. That means it's all new compared to what we normally do. But with the help of our student actors, we put on such a compelling message, it would be sad for you to not see it today. It'll be today at 10.30 at the link bit.ly forward slash AVEFM 2021. Your teacher will also be putting it in the chat of your access period. So we'll see you there. Thanks, Dons. And that's it for today, Dons. Make sure you check back in with us on Friday for some more news, announcements, and profiles. Thanks for joining us. Our main goal is to keep you guys connected because as the world shuts down, we push ahead because news matters. And remember, Dons, it's always a beautiful day here at Amador. Yeah, it's a beautiful day.